They are my training core. That's the purpose of this video. I call Tyrone. He takes me back. He's at work. This is how my transmission is acting. It started today, uh, this morning, as a matter of fact, when I took the car out of the garage by me, I got on underdunk, made the left off decal by the garage, onto underdunk, and I'm like, why am I giving the accelerator the pressure that I'm giving it, and it's not moving like I'm accustomed to it moving? So, later on today, which is now uh, 3.22 p.m., I understand now the trainee's got an issue. Look, one, two, it didn't catch. I had to give the accelerator like, and a stumble. You see that stumble? Yeah, something's going on. And my rev limiter, MSD rev limiter for months, and today is set at 4,000, 4,200 RPM. So it's not like I over revved it in first and hurt the tranny. Something else is going on with the tranny. I don't know what the hell it is. And as a matter of fact, when it gets into second gear, right? It's, it wants to stay there. It doesn't really go into third slash drive. And when I give it a little gas, gradually, I hear a humming noise. I don't know if it's out of the tranny or the drive shaft, I'm not sure. I already prayed to God a couple of times to get me back home nice and safe. Understand, I gotta get on Pennsylvania, then I gotta get on the Jackie Robinson. But you know, so far so good, thank God. And this only started happening, this only happened as a matter of fact, after I started manually shifting. Showing 1,500 RPM on the tack, and I'm doing 30? No, about 15, 20. Now I'm up into almost 30 miles per hour at 1,005 in second gear. As long as I can drive it like this, I'm good. And no, I'm not going to give it more accelerator so you guys can hear that weird noise I'm telling you about that I mentioned. I don't want to, I can't afford to do that. And also, I have not locked off the, uh, I'm sorry, removed the mechanical fuel pump from TA Performance, the TA Street Strip fuel pump mechanical. I haven't removed it yet and added the um, block off plate from TA Performance. My point, uh, I'm gonna continue using just the electric pump, fuel pump from this point, well, as soon as the mechanical is removed. It's gonna be Carter electric fuel pump from that day on. that the way it's looking when Tyrone's doing whatever it is he needs to do to my transmission then the block off plate will be added view pressure regulator will be relocated uh, right beside the carburetor with the um, view pressure regulator bracket so those things will be done apparently at the same time and again I added uh, almost a quart of the Type F tranny fluid Tyrone told me to only put in here. Leave alone. That's a shame, even with uh, tranny issues. Cat's still trying to want to go in. Yeah, 
Pennsylvania, that's the way I get more gas. That my hand touched the, uh, applied <laughs> the signal. You heard that? I don't know if you guys heard that. It's like, uh, it's like the, the, the pump. I don't know what the hell it is. It made a noise. RPM I have to take the motor to before it actually moves the car in drive. Let's see. One thousand, one thousand Shit, could it be my torque converter? I don't know. Two thousand RPM it took at this time for the car to move. Yeah, I'm gonna take 
Bushwick. No way am I getting on a Jackie Robinson like this. I can make it to Linden, Linden Boulevard, and get the gas there. I think it's, uh, I can't remember what it is. I think it's way better than this CITGO, C-I-T-G-O. Solo. I'm not gonna do 